So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a LVM, a logical volume monitor uh, disk and a volume to be able to use within Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Here I have a SDD and SDE, SDF. I have four separate partitions actually there, SCSI device C, D, E, and F uh, that are listed right over here. Each of them are five gigs apiece. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory called utils, as you can see, and I'm going to go into the utils directory. I'm going to create a brand new file called build disk. This is going to be a text file that's going to auto create my partitions for me. And in this file, I'm going to specify that I want a new partition, a primary partition. I'm going to press enter for the default primary partition that's available press enter for the first sector, press enter for the last sector, that means I'm going to use the entire disk as a primary partition. I'm going to specify the type of the partition to be 8E, which is the logical volume manager partition, and I'm going to write it. That's what the W is for. So NP, three blank lines, a T, an 8E, and a W. I'm going to save that file. I'm going to copy that file to build disk 2. And then I'm going to copy that file to build disk 3. Now, I don't need to do this, but the reason I'm doing this is because I can manipulate the partitions and manipulate how I want the disk to be formatted and sorted um, by the use of this text file. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I can create partitions using this disk with the automated command. So here's the uh, file again, the build disk uh, file, new partition, primary partition, uh, first par available partition and then uh, first sector and then use the entire file as that. So here I'm doing an fdisk and I'm redirecting the build disk automated file there, automated answer file, into the SCSI device C and it will build me a disk. So I'm going to run that three more times. So it ran that file. It ran uh, fdisk based on those or that criteria or those criteria, and here was a redirection so that it built the partition for me. And I'm going to do it three more times. I'm going to do it for SDD, SDE, and SDF using partition um, answer file of build disk 2, 3, and 4. It's going to be very easy to do that in order to be able to complete uh, the creation of partitions everywhere. It's just easier than doing it manually. So here's F disk. And I'm going to change SDC to SDD, and then to E, and then to F. So there's SDD, and I'm going to do it to SDE right there, and change it to 3. Although they're all the same files right now, I'm showing that it can be done very easily. Here's the SDF. So now the partitions are constructed. I need to uh, add them to my physical volume creation process that is needed for logical volume partitions. And these are all LVM partitions. So here's F disk, and I'm um, looking at the SCSI device C and L. See it? It's an LVM partition. SDD is an LVM partition. SDE is an LVM partition. If I scroll down, you'll be able to see it. Right, the logical volume manager, that's a partition type 8E. And I'm going to change that to SDF so you can see the final one. There it is. So that's SDF. Every one of these is 5 gigs a piece. Once I've created all the partitions, what uh, the next thing that I need to do is create the physical volume by using the PV create command. So I'm adding the SDC1, SDD1, SDE1 and SDF1 as my physical volumes that I have provisioned right over here. So that's done. And I'm going to do a PV display or physical volume display so that I can see what it's uh, what it's what it has done so far. So there we go. So there's my SD uh, SDA is already constructed and it is attached to a volume group, but SDE is not. Right. SDA2 is a partition that was already constructed at the time uh, Linux was loaded by default, and it is connected to a volume group called RHEL. SDE is not connected to a volume group. That's the one that I just created as a physical volume, and it's 5 gigs. Right, And it's not allocatable at the moment because we haven't really done anything with it yet. We have to add a volume group to it. 
and it's talking about these physical extent sizes and total physical extents. Uh, free physical extents are none available right now. We haven't really used it. Right, so that is the SDE one, and they're all that way, right? They're all that way. So I'm going to do a, create a volume group by using the VG create command. VG create volume group create. I'm going to call the volume group my vol, and I'm going to add dev SDC one to it. Okay, I'm going to do a VG display. There's my vol. Okay, there's a rel volume which is created by Linux, but my vol I created it. There's a format, okay, and you see that it's got five gig available, and the physical extent size is four meg, and they're a total of 1,279 physical extents. So 12, 1,279 times four megs per extent equals approximately five gig. I'm going to do a logic volume creation, or LV create, and I'm going to add 400 megs to that partition capital L, 400 megs, and I'm going to attach it to uh, the name of my volume that I'm going to be connecting it to is called vol1 and less logic volume 1 and my vol is the name of the volume group that I'm going to connect it to so I called this thing vol1 and it's 400 megs right now it's a logic volume this is what I can format and use then I'm going to do an LV display and there is the uh, LV create that I did of 400 megs okay, then I did a ran and LV display Okay. And when I look at this, because I want to take a look at look and see what vol one is, as I scroll down a little bit, there is my vol vol one, okay, and it is named vol one. It, it belongs to the uh, my vol volume group. It's 400 meg, and it's using up uh, current 100 logical extents of four megs a piece. That's how come it ends up with 400 meg. And then I'm going to uh, format this by using ext4 dev my vol vol1, the logic volume that I created. I just formatted it. And uh, once I format it, I can essentially begin using it at this point. And I can add to it if I want. So the way it stands right now is 400 meg. And when I take a look at, I'm going to create a directory and I'm going to mount it. I'm going to create a directory inside of mnt and I'm going to call the directory mntdb data. And I'm going to um, mount, not CD, I'm going to mount dev my vol, vol1, the logic volume that I created, and I'm going to mount it to mntdb data. And I'm going to do a df, and I'll be able to see right there my mounted volume, my mounted logical volume that I can essentially begin using. There it is. And it is approximately 300-ish, uh, 360 some meg available to me of the 400 meg. Right, right there, and it's using uh, one percent of the space as overhead. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my volume as it stands right now, and I'm going to extend it another 400 meg, right? Because the initial disk that I added was five gigs, so I've got plenty of room, and I'm going to extend the vol one volume, the one that is mapped right now. So I change from 400 to 800 meg, as you can see, and changing it from 100 extents to 200 extents. And I'm going to resize this so that it can be reflected. So I just resized it. Okay. So notice up there, it's 360-ish meg. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like now that I've resized that particular partition. Here I'm doing a DFH. H is human readable. Now it's 725 megs of usable space. 767 meg instead of what it was. 360 meg was available. So you can see that it was uh, 400 meg was added and the, uh, the appropriate amount of overhead was used. That's LVM, Logical Volume Manager Creation.